never doing that again. What is... <laughs> Hello? What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to talk about a trend that could be for streetwear in 2018 and that is workwear, military wear, sort of tech wear, I guess, all comes into one. I'm going to talk mainly about workwear and military wear. I've asked some people from the basement to comment in a post I made their favourite fits that include workwear and like tech wear and military wear and I'm going to talk about them a little bit. As I said, I am going to talk mostly about military wear and work wear. If you are interested in tech wear, I suggest checking out the YouTuber. This is Antoine. He is the tech wear genius. He's amazing. I'll drop a link down below. And he's a really nice guy and he makes great videos. So go check out his channel. But getting into the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few brands. So there's sort of two different waves of workwear that's gonna that is in streetwear at the moment. So you've got the classic workwear brands and then the sort of new wave workwear brands. As for the classic brands, you've got the likes of Dickies, Carhartt, Ben Davis, and you could to an extent say Levi's as it is originally a workwear brand that produced denim for people who were working. I guess that's what a workwear brand is. Knowledge. As for the new wave, I would say there's there's I can only really name two that are very well known, and that's Martian Noir or M Plus RC Noir. Uh, they take heavily inspiration from military and workwear, and they will bring it into one. They kind of make it this futuristic style of workwear. And you could arguably say that Stone Island is a workwear brand. It's, it's a difficult one because the brand isn't typical workwear. It does have many pieces that are that could be considered workwear. So I'm going to include it in this, and it is more futuristic workwear as you'll see with a lot of the pieces that they show. And their recent collections have been very futuristic and very advanced in the technology they use. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Carhartt because I think their new collection is amazing. Their spring summer 2018 collection looks so amazing. They've kind of reinvented like workwear classics and given them a new twist and like bought in new colors. And it's really cool to see. They've got a lot of belt loops, single knee pants, double knee pants. And if you do include their collaboration with Packbet or Rasvet, if it's pronounced like that, then you'll see they have reinvented a lot of classic workwear staples into a new silhouette and it, it's really cool to see and I really admire their pieces that they've done this year and I'm looking to pick a lot of them up like chore jackets and a couple of single knee pants. When it comes to the likes of military wear, surplus brands like Miltech and Rothko are always the best places to go especially if you are looking for military wear that's actually used commonly for airsoft and military training so you're getting the real stuff I guess try it out it's not really going to cause an issue if you like it rock it if you don't never mind. They're not stupidly expensive anyway, so it's a good thing to try if you do like that military aesthetic that a lot of people can pull off. When it comes to pieces from the workwear and military sort of standpoint, you're gonna see a lot of cargoes and a lot of work trousers, as well as a few pieces of uh, like work denim that's a lot tougher and a little bit heavier. Uh, on top, you'll see the likes of chore jackets, tactical vests when it comes to military wear, maybe a few Harrington jackets and denim jackets. They kind of all come in, they all play their own part in the sort of style of workwear and military wear. Obviously, you're not gonna see the likes of Harrington's and denim jackets too much because they're not really commonly associated with that, but there are brands that do kind of adapt that into a workwear style. So for the first time, I actually made a post in the basement talking about my YouTube and how I wanted to get those people involved. So I just made a little message saying, show me your fits, uh, to do with workwear and military wear. And this is what I got. I got quite a few replies, so it's really cool to see. Uh, I'm gonna run through a few outfits, drop their Instas, obviously, because I've gotta give them a shout out, thank them for getting involved in the video. And we're gonna go from there. The first fit that I was sent to me was by a young boy, aka Alex Kennedy, and I really like this fit. It's a simple black outfit. He's got on top, he's just got a top man jacket. Underneath, he's got a cap of fleece. He has a set store pouch, I think it is. Yeah, it's the set store pouch. He's got some black work dickies. I think they're the cargo pants, which are really cool. And to finish it off, he's just got a pair of silver bullets. I really like this outfit. It's all black and the puffer jacket really contrasts really nicely with the camo cargos. It kind of maintains that bulky aesthetic throughout the outfit. The cap up fleece underneath kind of sits up higher neck and kind of makes the collar on the craft jacket sit very nicely. The cargoes, they're kind of got a little drape over to them as well. Uh, he's got the loosen on the bottom of the cuff, so it kind of sits over the shoe a little bit. Uh, the only kind of hype item in this outfit at all is the silver bullets, but they work really well because they contrast very nicely with the rest of the outfit. The black on the rest of the outfit makes the silver pop, and it's really cool to see because it makes the shoe that's actually kind of slim look very chunky and a bit wider, and it's really it's a really good way to make an outfit come across very, very clean and aesthetically pleasing. Obviously, I have to give him props for having the baggy sort of cargoes and draping them over this shoe. Really nice to see, I love seeing that. It's always good to see in an outfit. Also, I forgot to mention for each outfit, I'm gonna tell what I liked, what I'd improve, and one piece that I would take from the outfit. 
So for that outfit, I would definitely improve the puffer jacket, kind of make the jacket a little bit more puffy. It kind of looks a bit stretched when he's, I, I might just be the position he's in, but it does look a little bit stretched down. However, the fit is amazing and I love it. Uh, I take the dicky cargoes from this, 100% it's such a nice piece. And I just like the entire outfit as a whole. It works really well and each piece complements each other. The next outfit is from Cash Tech. I can't say your surname, I'm really sorry, but your Insta is Cashton. Sorry, I can't say your name again. That's really, really bad of me, but I tried my best. So on top, he's just got a white hoodie with an all-American Joey badass merch tee over the top. Looks really cool. I like the t-shirts over hoodies. I think that looks really nice because the sleeve on it, it's kind of like what Gosha did with his recent collection. And I like how the sleeves kind of, they're kind of puffy over the rest of the um, hoodie. And it's a really nice look. Love it, definitely. For trousers, he's just got a pair of beige Carhartt work trousers. They're really cool. They've got a few belt loops on the side and that's used for hammer, etc. And it's a really nice piece. Um, the only issue I have with this piece is the, the color especially in the outfit, it doesn't really work as much as I think it could. Uh, if the shoes were different, which I'll get onto now, I think this would work a lot better. And for the shoes, he's got a pair of top threes. Um, I'm not too big a fan of the top threes, I just don't like the different colours on each foot. I feel like if he just had an all white shoe, it may work a little bit better. Maybe like an, a yin yang or like a pair of air forces, that would work really well. And the beige trousers would drape very nicely over them. But I just think that the colours on the shoe doesn't really go too well with the beige trousers. However, it is really cool to see that the actual shoes do match the graphic on the t-shirt, obviously maintaining that American flag. And that, that's, I give him props for that, that's very, very cool. As for this outfit, I do like the entire outfit. I most likely like the trousers. I'd also take the trousers and I'd also change the trousers, which is really weird. I like the trousers, I think they're really cool. However, I just don't think the color matches the shoes, as I said. I take the trousers because I want to get those beige trousers involved and I do like those belt loops and those hammer hoops on the side. I think it looks really, really nice. And my favorite piece, obviously it works well because the cut of them is beautiful. I also forgot to add, he's got a little bandana around his neck, which is a really cool added detail. Kind of maintains the bandana graphic on the t-shirt up to his neck and an accessory. Really nice piece, very subtle, very clean. The next fit is from Albie Embleton, and I really like this fit. It's kind of got a futuristic workwear sort of style, and this is what gave me the idea to talk a little bit about Martian Noir. Starting off, he has a Places Plus Faces bag pouch. I own one of those myself, and it's a really good bag, obviously bringing in that military aesthetic and that into the outfit, and it's really, really clean. As for his jacket, he's got a Martian Noir Quarter Zip 3M logo jacket. Really nice in the silver colorway as well, which kind of contrasts giving that futuristic style to the outfit. Really, really nice and complements the bag very nicely. On his trousers, he's got a pair of Stone Island Cargoes, obviously maintaining that futuristic workwear sort of vibe, and I really like it. I think the Stone Island Cargoes are some of my favorite pieces that Stone Island have ever done, and I probably might eventually pick one up. I'm just not a big fan of the badge of Stone Island and what it stands for but the cargoes have a very nice taper to them and work very well with the shoes. Again, he's wearing a pair of silver bullets and they complement obviously the jacket with the 3M as well. The 3M is continually used throughout the entire outfit and the color coordination of silver and black works really well. Very good outfit, I love it. From this outfit, I'd definitely take the Martian Noir art quarter zip. I've always been interested in Martian Noir and this is a piece I'd love to pick up. The thing I'd change, to be honest, I wouldn't really change anything about this outfit. I think it just works really well leading nicely onto what works well in this outfit, and I'd have to say the colour coordination is exceptional in this outfit. Big props to Albi for this. His Insta is also Accent, and I'll just leave it there. The next outfit is from Jack Collins, and this is a very heavily inspired workwear outfit. He's wearing a Palace hat, a Carhartt jacket, a pair of Dickies cargoes again, and a pair of Vans. Again, massive props to the colour coordination here. It works really well. The only thing i change is maybe the Palace hat, because it's kind of like a grey, a dark grey, and it doesn't really match the rest of the outfit. I'd probably change that to a black palace cap, it would work a lot nicer. The one piece I'd take from this is definitely the Vans, I think they're really nice and the colour coordination on them is beautiful. Works really well with the rest of the outfit with the red matching the Carhartt jacket and the black matching the cargoes. Just works really well, again I'd have to say the colour coordination is the best thing about this outfit. His Insta is jack.collins19. Up next is Oliver Heppenstall and he's got this, it's kind of more of a height sort of workwear outfit, not really. He's wearing a North Face Noops with a Palace shell jacket. He's got a pair of Stone Island Cargoes and a pair of TNs as well. I think this outfit's really, really nice. He's also wearing a Supreme bag around here from the new Spring Summer 2018 collection. Obviously this is a bit more logo heavy to my liking and I think it works really well. The shell is really, really nice underneath and the logoing is just a simple triferg. And those shell jackets are kind of futuristic as well, kind of bringing in that 
new wave workwear which I like a lot. The North Face Nups is very practical as well and will keep you warm. He's also got the Stone Island Cargos bringing again that new wave sort of workwear and the TNs I just don't think work well in this outfit. Maybe an all black pair would work a little bit nicer. I just don't think the red, although it pops, isn't nice enough. I don't know, it just doesn't suit the outfit as well. And I think it'd just be a bit better with a black pair. However, this is a great outfit and I'd probably take the Stone Island Cargos from this. Just change the TNs. But I have to say that you've surprised me with these sort of hype items in the outfit and they've worked very well. Up next is my favourite outfit from the entire like comment section and that is from Freddie Mercer. He actually messaged me saying how he enjoys my channel so thanks a lot man. He's wearing a ghost shirt oversized sweatshirt, the Europa one that I really want so probably why I like this outfit quite a lot. A pair of cargoes and a pair of Air Force Ones. Maintaining the black throughout is really really nice and the white socks really pop and draw the attention towards the Air Force Ones. The styling works really well, the colour coordination is, is beautiful throughout and that sweatshirt is amazing. Obviously the one piece I'd take is that Europa sweatshirt 100%. Something I'd change about the outfit is maybe have the cargoes like cuffed at the bottom so they're drawn in and a bit baggier rather than cuffing them up. Have them drawstringed in and pulled in so they kind of have that baggy look throughout. Uh, and the colour coordination works beautifully throughout the entire outfit. And finally for the last fit, this is from James Wilson. I'm not too sure which pieces are from where because I can't really see it, it's a snowy picture. However, he's wearing a Taobao coat, I think. I'm not too sure what Taobao is. For some reason it's reminded me of AliExpress but I don't think it is, but if it is that's cool, you've used affordable alternatives if that's the case. He's got a weekday hoodie underneath that. He's also wearing a pair of trousers from Enfinlev, and I don't really know what that is, but I'm going to have a look into that in a minute. And on feet he's got a pair of Nike acronyms. I'll go straight into this, the one piece I take is the Nike acronyms, 100%. The one thing I would change is maybe get a bit more of a baggy at bottom. They look a bit tapered and I think to pull off the workwear sort of style, you've got to have a wider fit on the leg. And overall, I think the colors are beautiful throughout this. That jacket that kind of changes throughout the color is really, really nice and works well with the acronyms because of the black-white contrast on the shoe matches the black-white contrast on the jacket. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I had kind of a bit of a different video this time. I'm still trying to reach 200 subs and I'm gonna tell you this every single time till I reach 200. So if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd be so grateful. I just wanna reach there. Once I've reached 200, we can just keep aiming higher and higher and higher. Thank you for all the supportive comments. It means a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday with a new video.